Let's talk a little bit about the Orioles in this final game of the series. Fellas, I think, I think Twitter was going through some things on yesterday in the last couple days, to say the least. That's something. And I really felt like the 50 cent meme where it was saying, like, why are you saying F F you for? Because I just was being a little bit positive about the Orioles and and uh like it how, was how dare you? It was obviously you're you're blurry again. <laughs> But but the Orioles, they find a way to escape the final game in Miami. Miami's really good against Baltimore it, it, overall when they play in early. I don't think people knew that either. But, Kevin, it was it was a scary place on Twitter for the last few days. Uh, yeah, and a scary game for the Orioles, which we, we talked about here. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a win, but I think this is the worst you can probably feel after a win. I mean, you're yes. 6-1 in the eighth, and, you know, Kimbrell comes in, and, <laughs> they did. I mean, look, they didn't deserve to win the game. They did, but then they no, didn't. They, no, did, okay, they did. They um, did, but then they didn't. They did, but then they didn't. I'm going to stop you right there. They did, but then they didn't. No, I'm going to stop you right there. Can I get this? Can I get something off my chest here? Do it. Is this okay? When I say the Orioles are fine, it's a mantra so people don't lose their damn minds. But clearly, and you know what that mantra did? It made people lose their damn minds. It did. It's ironic, right? Yeah, it really is. But for the Orioles, the Marlins didn't play a clean game at all. Three errors in this finale, Kev, right? And I understand what you're saying. And the Orioles, even though Craig Kimbrell was shaky at the end, if Gunnar Henderson fields the ball cleanly, this game's over too, by the way. The mm -hmm. Orioles are walking away, and they're not going to extras. But the positive here, despite all of this, the Orioles just gained a half game on the New York Yankees, a team that is struggling even – more than they are, and now sit two games up in the American League East. There's perspective. We know the Orioles need to make moves, right? We know they need to get depth. And the fact that they won a game in extra innings after their staff was so damn depleted in the bullpen, that I can't tell you, it might not feel good, but gaining a half game when everything went wrong, didn't one of you guys say, maybe this was you, Kevin, the Orioles haven't had a lot of like comeback victories or the adversity when something goes wrong. Well, it should hit the fan for this game. They could have crumbled in extra innings, especially after the double, the strange double play with Mountcastle and Mullins, but they won. And so I'm just trying to give the perspective. The Orioles gained a half game despite everything that just happened. Yeah, I think it's it's over the last, I think, like 30 games, the Orioles are playing. 500 ball and somehow because of how poorly the Yankees have played they've gained three games in the division so yeah. if you are going to have a horrible stretch it might as well be now you know as much as I know people say it sucks that they don't have like a 10 game lead because of how bad the Yankees are playing and I agree you obviously would have wanted to go and get six or seven game lead at this point just be happy or two games because in a lot of situations when you play this poorly for over a stretch of 25, 30 games, usually you're not still in first place. Yeah, well, and here's the thing. I saw a comment right here. We'll just better start looking at Boston because New York is not the competition. Boston. Boston was the hottest team before. You know what happened to Boston in Colorado? They lost by two touchdowns. And and Cal Quantrell did not mince words with Reese McGuire walking <laughs> off the field. You guys can go watch the video. You know exactly what I'm referring to. Kevin, you know what I'm referring I to? Do. I do. Yeah. It makes so, me laugh every time. So, oh, sugar. I mean, look, they're six and a half up on the Red Sox. They're two games up on the Yankees. I know it's not perfect, but these are the types of games you just got to just be, man, be, be grateful and thankful that they pulled it out because what's the – what was the alternative? Twitter burning down and then – Lord knows what happens. If they would have lost today, I don't even want to know what would have gone down on Twitter if they would have. I'm honestly surprised. Thank goodness Jazz Chisholm kind of slipped around third and had to stay because I think it would have been a play at the plate in the ninth inning for uh, the game. Yeah, and I mean, look, this is this is the reality. Brandon Hyde's comments, and we'll move on to the Mason, Mil Mason Miller news here. It's Hyde said earlier, he, we got to play better. That, mm -hmm. That's evident. That's and, I, and I'm honest with you guys. I will be honest. The Orioles have to play better. If they play this sloppy and defensively they're not timely with their hitting, it's going to hurt in the long run. But I think you got to give the Orioles 
a little bit of grace here. They've had all these injuries. They've finally still battled through. And then above that, I asked this question on Twitter, who everyone thought was a complete team at this point in the season. And the most answers I got was the Phillies, a couple, maybe a Guardians, right, guys? But maybe Dodgers. So we're looking at a couple teams, three maybe. Every team has flaws. The Phillies, I'd say, are the most complete of the teams. But my point is made exactly. At this point in the season, there's a lot of great teams struggling, and there's a lot of teams with flaws. The Orioles are in a great position despite their flaws. Mm-hmm. Now it's going to be the biggest question. Can they be, continue to figure it out? Because that is what's going to determine and decide if they're going to make a postseason run. But they are right where they need to be, ahead in the AL East, even at a time when it has been miserable mm-hmm. for Orioles fans.